Hey, let's live longer and look better. I have the person to help us with that. Daryl Lee Scanlon, registered dietitian and nutritionist. Wonderful to have you on again. Thank you, as always. It's great to be yes. here. Well, you have a beautiful array of foods that look delicious. Are you telling me these foods will also uh, help us to stay young and live long? Live long and prosper. That's right. They will help put the brakes How on do you do aging. That? <laughs> oh, are you Spock guy? Are you a Spock I'm, person? I don't know. I'm not very good at that. I'm not going to try it on live TV. So where do we start? Where okay. do we start, Daryl Lee? Because well, this is important to people. It to, is. Yes. It is. The first thing, the first key principle on healthy, active aging and holding back, you know, keeping longevity coming along mm -hmm. is that you eat healthy foods because they reduce your exposure to thousands of chemicals that you find in processed foods. Oh. They also help reduce chronic levels of stress inside the body and stress oh. is associated with inflammation so it's basically it's the effect of stress is inflama inflammatory actions. Stress and inflammation. Wow. Inflammation is associated with every disease we know of on the planet, everything from heart disease to cancer we just has flare a link up with the wrong with, foods with yeah? inflammation. Okay. So I picked out some foods that are all associated with longevity. They boost longevity. Okay. So let's start with the hottest trend in beverages for this year is pure water. Who would you know? Well, that's a toughie, is isn't a, it? You it's know? new. The new hip beverage is water. <laughs> Ooh, now no. you have a really neat kind of water here. How does that differ from just the um, just the water things that people buy in the plastic bottles and stuff? Well, first of all, it's glass, and I prefer glass because there are other petrochemicals in plastic that can leach into beverages. Uh, right. So it's just you know, it's it, that's not going to kill you like now. Yeah. But over time, you never know because you're taking in in more sure. chemicals, and you really don't want to be doing that. So I like glass. And this, and this is what this is one that I use. What I like to do is I like to add the juice of a lime or a lemon to this, Ooh, yes. and a little stevia. So I'm drinking lemonade or limeade Ooh, all day okay. long. You're hydrating. It helps your brain. The kidneys like it. You oh. pee your way to a healthy day. <laughs> You know, and you, uh, I think I heard what you just said. Yeah, of course you heard what I said. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, and it's, it's recyclable stuff, but I like the glass too because it's not yes. permeable. So exactly. that's, that is exactly. wonderful to have because we're, you know, if we just, and you need to still drink like what, a gallon of water a day? Well, like I, I like to put, this is like a liter. I just do two of these Two of those and you're day. pretty good. Okay. And it helps also reduce the risk of blood clots. Oh. And that's just keeping hydrated. Right. Very, very important. Help a lot of folks. Yes. Let's move along oh, to Oh, yes. Look at these now, beautiful berries and nuts. There's a major study. This is a major medical study on nuts that showed that if you will eat one ounce of nuts every single day, right. that you reduce your risk of all, of dying from all known diseases, oh, of health, health oriented diseases. The miracle food. Who by knew? a full 20%. One ounce is like, you know, yeah, not if very I much. put this, I would have like maybe five or six, um, sure. uh, not almonds, but walnuts yeah. in my hand. And that would reduce my risk for lots of major diseases. And that's diseases. pretty much any nuts, sterling? Any nuts. My okay. favorites are walnuts and pecans. Oh, I like yes. the omega-3 fatty acids that I can get in walnuts as, as well. The double, double benefit there. Beneficial fats, vitamins and minerals, so it's mm. a really nice longevity boosting sure. food. When you talk about berries, berries are always going to be disease fighting. They boost immunity, oh. they help reduce the risk of cancer, and they help your heart. So oh. they're loaded with antioxidants and polyphenols, all these wonderful compounds. Isn't that great? Berries now this fuel is like what you put in your car. Like I put some some bad fuel in my car one time. You got a it sexy, stopped. sassy chassis, girl. <laughs> so come on, let's. What are you gonna put in that car? <laughs> but it stopped working. Literally, I was, you know, you know, I had just gotten the car, so I had it towed because I didn't know what was wrong. I kept getting the engine light. Turned out it was like bad fuel. That can happen, guys, if we don't eat good stuff. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And I know right. you eat well. I. So sure. I'm not worried about you. <clears throat> right. Okay. okay. I love potato chips. It's okay. I do occasionally too. <laughs> okay. But well, you have my favorite food here, like guacamole. <laughs> Tell me about that. Okay. What we have here are healthy fats. And when you're looking at healthy fats for longevity boosting, you want to go for an avocado. I eat one every day. Wow, an really? Avoc yes, an avocado. Yes. And even my dog likes avocado. Are you ready for this? Okay. That's weird. What kind of dog you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A weird dog. 
<laughs> very, very healthy dogs. The reason that avocados are so good is that they help to bring, um, first of all, they're, they're a monounsaturated fat. So it's a really healthy, nice fat. It has, it brings down cholesterol levels. It's good for the heart. It's got vitamin E. It's got B complex. Wow. So and don't worry energy. about the fat because it's good no, fat, right? No, it's good fat. Because people worry about it. Go, this oh, is too not going to block it. any arteries. It's going to help you bring down the things that block oh, arteries. Lovely. Okay. Now we've also got coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is a special kind of fat because it, it mm. has medium chain triglycerides, which means that you can absorb it really easily mm. and it turns into energy this quickly. It doesn't taste bad. I it tried it just. Wonderful, I put it? it on my face. I like, you know, I love coconut Eggs. oil. But you can also just eat it if you, you know, it's yes. I like to eat like a teaspoon a day. And oh, do you know okay. I brush my dog's teeth with this? You know why? Why? Coconut oil also has antiviral properties, and I don't want him to have gum disease. Wow, that's it's brilliant. I'm going to use that for my toothpaste, too. <laughs> okay, now you have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foods here, and that is like pickled cabbage or something. These Tell me are, about this. okay. Fermented foods and sprouts are big time longevity boosting foods uh -huh. because now with the fermented foods they are boosting the population of friendly bacteria in the stomach because you're adding some with that fermented food oh. plus the fermented food is a food for the bacteria in your stomach. They call, it's called FOS, fructo oligosaccharide. You don't have to remember that, it's not a quiz. Okay, worry. thanks. Okay. <laughs> but you want to have fermented foods in your diet. And I, this is the mm. most, hey, get, get, your, get your fork out here. All right, we got the we're forks gonna try ready this. because we're going to do something. I want you to try yes. this. This okay. is probably the most delicious tasting uh, it, fermented food I've ever tried. Right. It's called wild brine. It's got fermented cabbage mm. and beet juice in it, and it's sensational. It's delicious. You I think can actually taste the beet juice. Isn't it? You? Isn't it the best? Mm. By mm. the way, beet juice love is good it. for you because it helps detox the liver. That's going to help you live longer too. Oh <laughs> yes, we have to have a happy liver. <laughs> what is this kind of? Okay. Cause sprouts are. This is very cute, like a chia pet. Isn't it? Isn't mm. it fun? See, you can grow your sprouts <laughs> in the kitchen. I was growing this in the kitchen. What this is? What's these are radish sprouts, and I got them at the farmer's market. What's great about sprouts is they offer you a concentrated source of vitamins and minerals and nutrients because you're getting the plant at the early stage the of its baby life plant. cycle. Yes. yes. So you have lots and lots. Oh, you know what? You didn't try the guacamole. Oh, I did try the guacamole. Wait, but we're going to gonna make too? it more longevity boosting. Oh, we're going to do, do this. I'm going to in guacamole. You're going to put radish sprouts. Radish sprouts in guacamole. Love it. You know, almost anything can sprout. I, I have I'm, sunflower I'm, sprouts. I am with you. So a let's sprinkle ago. some of those in there. Oh, Get out your fork. All right, I'm ready. Okay, but dive okay. into the guacamole mm. with some sprouts. I'm going to have some too. I'm going to let's get a little longevity going here too. Okay, with sprouts. Mm. Oh, it's so it's good. also got cilantro in there too. Isn't that good? I can mm. taste that, and the cilantro helps. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, this is a greatest Isn't texture that for that. Isn't that great for this? I love this. Oh my this. gosh, we have one minute. We have a million okay. minutes right. to talk okay. about. We're having too much okay. fun. Uh, we. <laughs> this is quinoa. Another big study here that shows that if you eat a bowl of quinoa in place of a wheat-based cereal, oh. you reduce your risk for premature dying, death. <laughs> from, yeah. you know, croaking basically, yeah. from, uh, <laughs> from heart disease and cancer. And this is from Harvard Medical School University. This is a big wow. deal. Wow. So this is a, this is a gluten-free grain. And you can use this for cereals, you can use it as a side dish. Let's make a quick one here. This is going to be a cereal. Let's add berries to that. So let's really boost the longevity effects okay. of this. Because this is like a breakfast cereal. It's like a breakfast cereal. It Quick. comes in a packet. It's like really easy to make. You Just can microwave, microwave this. It. You can Love microwave it. this. It takes three minutes and you have got breakfast or a side dish. Because it's fully cooked organic. It is full. Exactly. And then we've got, um, this is a pasta with organic brown rice and also our quinoa. The idea is no gluten. Get the gluten out because uh -huh. it causes inflammation. Well, and I bet that's really good too. It looks like it's that, good pasta. Oh, here's the fork. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm trying this quinoa right now. All right. It has a nutty taste because it's actually a seed, but they call it a grain. You know that is so interesting because I can see it with berries and cream and Absolutely. honey and stuff. But this over mm -hmm. here, you have got your yeah, longevity-boosting breakfast. Mmm. Delicious. Daryl Lee Scanlon, thanks so much for joining us. Mmm. Our very own nutritionist, dietitian, and now you have the secret to how to live long and prosper. Thank okay, you so much, Sterling. <laughs> no problem. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. And don't forget, free tickets. I'll be back. Mm. Jeez.